throughout the ages, we can find two types of people, the righteous and the evil, or the wise and the foolish. In Genesis, there were Abel and Cain. Cain became the first murderer in human history by killing Abel. Thereafter, the forefathers of faith like Abraham and Isaac appeared. Who came after Isaac? It was Jacob. Esau and Jacob were twins. Between the two, one always thought of the future while the other only looked for ways to avoid temporary hardships. By looking at the contrast between them in Genesis 25, we can learn that the wise live a righteous life, preparing for the spiritual world, and the foolish live a wicked life, only seeking temporary comfort. Let's see Genesis chapter 25, verse 29. It says, Once when Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came in from the open country, famished. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of that red stew. I'm famished. That is why he was also called Edom. Jacob was cooking some stew. This is the story about the lentil stew. Let me have some of that red stew. I'm famished. Verse 31. It says, Jacob replied, First, sell me your birthright. Look, I am about to die, Esau said. What good is the birthright to me? But Jacob said, Swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and some lentil stew. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. The story of Jacob and Esau serves as an example. Esau only thought about how to relieve his momentary hunger. However, since Jacob realized the birthright as God's great blessing given only to the firstborn, he always waited for the opportunity to obtain it. Finally, there was an opportunity for Jacob to gain Esau's birthright in exchange for the red stew. People like Esau and the robber on the left side of Jesus only focus on their present troubles, avoiding temporary hardship and suffering. What about Jacob and the robber on the right side of Jesus? Aren't they the ones who endured their hardships, thinking of the future? Therefore, we should not only think about the present situation. Rather, we should think about heaven and what efforts we must make to go there. I hope we will all live such a life. Thank you very much.